David writes, I have praxismal AFib. I have a beer from time to time, but I'm wondering if I should stop drinking altogether. I've heard that it can be bad for people with AFib. What are your thoughts? Well, David, if you're a regular reader of my blog, you know that I used to be a heavy drinker. In fact, my first episode occurred after a night of heavy drinking. That was back on Father's Day in 2006. Needless to say, ever since then, I have not been a heavy drinker. I have continued to drink since then, but I am now a moderate drinker. And I'm not even sure I would be classified as a moderate drinker because technically, according to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, moderate drinking is defined as men having two drinks a day or women having one drink per day. I certainly don't drink even that much. Um, When I drink these days, it's typically on a Friday and or a Saturday, and at most I'll have two drinks. And sometimes if I'm going really crazy, I might have three drinks, but um, that's about the most that I will drink. Now, there are no studies or research that provide any clues or insight on moderate alcohol consumption and its effects on AFib, you know, whether it makes it worse or, you know, whether you have more episodes or, you know, makes you go from praxismal AFib to persistent or anything like that. And I think most doctors would agree that uh, moderate alcohol consumption, even for AFibbers, is probably okay, as long as it doesn't trigger episodes for you. And that is that is the big issue with alcohol and AFibbers is, does it or does it not trigger episodes? If you have AFib and you have a drink and you have an episode, then obviously alcohol is probably going to be a no-go for you. Um, there are a lot of people that have AFib that can tolerate alcohol. I'm one of those. I can sit down and have two and and even three drinks and I don't go into AFib. Um, and I can tolerate different types of alcohol. I can drink beer, hard liquor, wine, and I'm fine. Now I will say I do have palpitations when I drink, uh, if I have more than two drinks. Uh, in fact, my PVCs and packs will pick up quite a bit and will flare up quite a bit after I have two or three drinks. Um, But I never go into AFib and I've never gone into AFib from drinking, you know, one to three drinks in a session. Um, So it's really, it really is uh, an individual thing. So if you, again, if you drink and you have episodes, then uh, it's probably not going to work for you. Uh, But if you can tolerate alcohol, a drink or two, you're probably going to be okay. Now there are couple things, though, that I need to talk about here, and that is different types of alcohol might uh, have a different effect on you. For instance, you might be able to drink beer just fine, but if you drink red wine, boom, you go into AFib. Um, Or you might be able to tolerate red wine just fine, but if you have hard liquor, you have an episode. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you try drinking and you go into an episode, you know, if, if drinking is really important to you, And let's face it, you know, in social situations, we all, a lot of us like to have a a drink or two in social situations. Um, So if that's really important to you, then, you know, try a different type of alcohol the next time you drink. So if you had red wine and you had an episode, maybe next time just try having a beer and maybe like a light beer versus one of those heavy craft beers um, just to, you know, see what happens. And if you tolerate that, okay, well, then you might be okay having an occasional beer. The other thing though I want to talk about is that's a big no-no for people with AFib is binge drinking or heavy drinking. These are definitely no-goes for AFibbers. Uh, So let's define these different categories of of drinking. So binge drinking is defined as um, men drinking five drinks or more in a session and women drinking four or more drinks in a session. That's binge drinking. And binge drinking can lead to what's called holiday heart syndrome. And basically what that means is binge drinking, you have, again, if you're a man, five or more drinks in a session, boom, you go into AFib, maybe not immediately, maybe in the next morning, um, and you will develop, it's just called holiday heart syndrome, just basically means AFib from a, you know a session or a night or day of heavy drinking. Um, so that's kind of what happened to me back in 2006. Uh, they probably would have classified that as holiday heart syndrome. Um, now heavy drinking is drinking for men, drinking three drinks or more on a daily basis. 
and women drinking two drinks or more on a daily basis. Okay, so these types of drinking, binge drinking, heavy drinking, are a no-go for AFibbers because uh, it can cause, probably for most of us, it's going to cause us to go into AFib. Um, and there's an interesting article on everydayhealth.com, and I'll have a link to this article on my website. Uh, but they, study, they cited a study done by the Canadian Medical Association Journal in 2012. Uh, they found that for people with AFib, binge drinking is as harmful to the heart as heavy drinking on a regular basis. Um, so again, just kind of further emphasizing that binge drinking, heavy drinking, these are definitely two categories you don't want to play around with if you have AFib. But again, moderate drinking, it's probably going to be okay for most people with AFib. But again, if you drink and you have an episode, then yeah, you're probably going to have to call it quits. And just one other quick caution on drinking. Um, I read on an article on WebMD that alcohol can raise your risk of bleeding if you're on warfarin or Coumadin. Um, now, the article didn't reference the newer uh, oral anticoagulants like Eliquis and Xeralto and Pradaxa. Um, so I don't know what alcohol, I don't know what the effects of alcohol are on those types of blood thinners. But the bottom line is, uh, I guess the main point is if you are taking a blood thinner um, and you are going to you know, be a moderate drinker, uh, you might want to talk to your doctor about that just to make sure that there's not going to be any issues with the alcohol and the the prescriptions that you're on. And one other thing too that you can do to reduce your risk of having AFib episodes when you're drinking is stay well hydrated. That's very important. 